Hi everyone and welcome back and if you're new here, hi, welcome, join the enthusiasm, subscribe. In today's video, I am going to declutter my makeup. <laughs> I think I got hairspray in my mouth. Yeah, not just lipstick, not just foundation, the whole makeup collection. Because I'm running out of storage and I also do not know why am I shooting this because I was not about to shoot this, I was about to do this in December but never thought that i will be doing it in front of the camera i don't like washing my makeup brushes so decluttering the whole makeup collection is a very big thing and that is the reason why i do not have any makeup on my face today so sorry but you have to bear with this bare face basically whatever money i collect i just spend it on makeup 100 percent of it so um yes um it's a lot of makeup and getting rid of most of it is really difficult and painful at the same time but yes uh, you cannot put expired products on your face and then uh, there are makeup products that i do not reach out for anymore so i have to just get rid of that too i have a basket for a foundation i have two baskets for lipsticks i have a basket for all my eyeshadow palettes and then i have like again a basket for contour and all of that products Yes, I wanted to do that and I have kind of done that but right now everything is mixed up. Alright, so I think this angle is better. I don't know. I mean, you won't be able to see everything clearly but I'll try to show you everything really clearly. So next I have my focus. I have my eyeshadows, you guys. So before my table falls, I am just going to keep this on my bed and show you every single one of it most of the eyeshadow palettes that i have are from revolution because they make some really good quality eyeshadows um so first of all this is the makeup revolution life on the dance floor guest list palette it has mostly got like warm shades and i'm thinking of getting rid of this i'm just keeping this palette for the mirror then next i have another makeup revolution life on the dance floor palette this is the sparklers palette and i'm definitely going to get rid of this palette because um first of all i have all these colors in some other palettes plus um uh these these colors are not pigmented over here they're so chalky so i will definitely use these colors from the tammy and revolution because these colors are also available in that palette so probably i'll just get rid of this palette so right now i'm just keeping the palettes that i have to get rid of on this side on my right side and i think your left side i don't know and then these palettes on my left side which is probably your right side so this is the Urban Choice palette by In Color. These are the colors. I just don't like it, so I'm just getting rid of this. I don't know how many times I am going to change the setup of this video, but yes. The third palette is this Makeup Revolution Reloaded Marvelous Matte, and I'm going to keep this because obviously the colors are good over here, and I love using colors. So I'm keeping this palette. So this is a face palette from LA Colors. First of all, I don't like the pigmentation. Like some of them are really pigmented. These are all blushes over here and then two highlights. Um, some of them are really pigmented and then some of them are not. I've not used this in a long, long time. So I'm just going to get rid of this palette. Um, no, so I'm keeping... Oh. Now again I have another Makeup Revolution palette. So this is the Makeup Revolution Pretty Incredible palette and I got this free with the Roxaurus into Revolution palette. So I will be keeping this because I like the shades in here. It's good for like an everyday look. This has got like your perfect everyday shades plus two highlights. So I'm keeping it. And then obviously I'm keeping the Revolution into Roxy palette. Now another old palette from Revolution that I have is this. This is the I Love Makeup Chocolate Rose Gold palette. This is the palette I love all the shimmers you guys. It is such a good palette so I'm just keeping it. And now this is the first eyeshadow palette that I ever got. Even before I knew anything about makeup I got this palette. I got it from a very local shop. Um, it looks something like this and this has got all baked shimmer shades I guess but I don't use it because it's obviously expired but I just have this for memory like because this is my first palette so that's why I'm going to keep this again I'm so bad at getting rid of memories now I'm obviously keeping the Tammy into Revolution Tropical Carnival palette this is my favorite palette like I'm just going to get rid of this Revolution Pro Regeneration palette 
entrance is yours so i'm just going to get rid of this palette because i don't use it anymore and then i have this la colors palette i don't know yes it is in the shade seductive um, i'm going to get rid of this palette too because i don't think i use it and whatever i've not used i'm just going to get rid of all of that so these are the palettes that i don't want anymore and these are the palettes that i want all right so i have got some palettes over here too so first of all i have this nyx perfect filter palette i don't like it i'm going to get rid of this palette i have this wet n wild color icon eyeshadow palette this is a new palette so i'm going to keep it then i have this miss claire eyeshadow palette again i have have these shades in different palettes but this was a good palette you guys but i think i use this only once or maybe twice but i'm just going to get rid of this palette then i have this swiss beauty ultimate shadow palette i am going to keep this palette because i really love it and i think it's it has got some really good go-to warm shades for medium skin tone so i really love this palette um then i have this made me city mini palette in chill brunch neutrals and i'm going to keep it because again this has got some good neutral shades so next again i have a city mini palette in graffiti pop i'm just going to keep this palette and that's it for the eyeshadow palettes and so we got four more palettes that we have to keep and then two more that are not going to 2020 I feel really happy about it because you know I'm always confused about my eyeshadows what to use what not to use so just decluttering everything is so good so next let's move ahead to the foundation basket you guys this is how the foundation basket looks I mean I'm trying so hard to be in the frame like I can't I can't just keep my table and myself in the frame together because you know So that's why I'm slouching today. So this is how the foundation basket looks. So first of all, I have this L'Oreal Infallible foundation. So this is in the shade three twenty caramel, and I don't want this foundation anymore. This is one of the first professional foundations that I got, but I don't think I need it anymore because you know. Um, first of all, this is the wrong shade, and second, it has expired. You can see the product has already kind of separated inside. I mean. Gosh, I can see the oil inside. Next, again, I have the Milani Conceal and Perfect Two in One Foundation Plus Concealer. This smells weird. Last time I used it, I was like, I'm not going to use it again. So I love this foundation, but it's just that it has expired. And if you want to know, my shade is zero six sand beige. So I'm getting rid of this too. Next, I have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I'm out of this. I used this whole summer, you guys. This is such a good. foundation for combination skin for summers so this is a good foundation i'm keeping this um i have exhausted this almost but i'm keeping this so these are the foundations that i'm rejecting and these are the foundations that i'm keeping next i have this wet and wild foundation photo focus foundation in golden beige first of all this is not my shade and the second thing is that um i don't like the smell of this foundation plus i don't like the spatula thing that it has got I don't like this spatula. So the bottle is almost full, but I don't want this foundation anymore. Um, next is the infamous Fit Me foundation, you guys. This is the Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation by Maybelline. I don't want this foundation anymore. I mean, I've not used this foundation more than once because, first of all, I don't think this foundation is made for dry skin. It didn't work out for me at all. And the second thing is that I, I got the wrong shade. Obviously, I have the shade 310 Sun Beige, but this is definitely not my shade. So you know, I just don't like this foundation. It rips moisture from my face, which I don't like. So I don't want this foundation. Next I have the Maybelline Superstay 24 full coverage foundation. I love this foundation. I'm keeping this foundation. It has not expired. And plus the Fit Me has already expired, you guys. Just so you know. Next I have the Max Studio Fix Fluid in NC40. I am keeping this too. I have al almost exhausted this foundation but not completely. So I'm keeping this. And then I have the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. Such a good foundation, you guys. I just love it. And this one is in the shade um Golden Sun. So I'm just keeping this foundation too. Then I have this Makeup Revolution Stick Foundation. This is the Fast Base Stick Foundation. I'm keeping this too. I don't know whether this has expired or not, 
but I generally try not to use expired products because prevention is better than cure, obviously. I have the Nika Skin Genius Foundation, so I'm keeping this foundation. And then next, I have the LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation in Warm Honey. I'm keeping this foundation too. Then next, I have the Sugar Drop the Base Serum Foundation. I'm keeping this foundation too. Although I have like a love-hate relationship with this foundation. I like it and I don't like it. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. But I'm just keeping this foundation. And then I have this Miss Claire Long Lasting perfection whatever skin beige in skin beige i don't like this foundation because this is not my shade and i don't like it then next i have the revolution pro full coverage camouflage foundation mm, i'm keeping this one ultimately i have this nika get set click creme to powder compact which i have in my foundation basket because you know <laughs> so this is a creme as you can see and this is not my shade i mean this will give you a very highlighted under eye if you use it as a concealer if you're my skin tone so i'm just keeping this foundation because i like that highlighted under eye this is how it looks you guys already it's so much empty you should come and see my bed right now it's like a mess like a mess it's a mess so the next thing on our list is some just random baskets where i have a mixture of bronzers contouring things highlighters and all of that stuff so and i also i don't know why i have this box this is another there is another so number one i'm just going to clean this one first so first of all i have this wet and wild photo focus highlighter in precious petals yes this is not expired so i'm just keeping it next i have the wet and wild dulce de lec i think that's how it's pronounced mega glow contouring palette this is also not expired so i'm keeping this too then i have this color icon blush in the shade pearlescent pink i'm keeping this too so basically over here everything that i have i love and i think i'm going to keep it next i have this nika blush in malibu barbie i'm keeping this too now i am getting rid of this um, makeup revolution goddess of love triple baked highlighter such a beautiful packaging you guys but i have to get rid of this because yeah i think it has not got that pigment when i bought it it was very pigmented but now i feel that it's more powdery i don't know why but yes i'm getting rid of this and then i have this wet n wild color icon baked blush i'm keeping this and i have this sugar contour de force palette i'm keeping this too so then i have this the balm bahama mama bronzer my favorite bronzer i'm keeping this too then i have this miss claire translucent powder i think i'm gonna get rid of this because you know i have a lot of translucent powders and they are very much better than this one i guess next i have this makeup revolution luxury banana powder and i think i am going to keep this then i have this wet n wild pressed powder i don't know why this just doesn't deliver a lot of products so i'm just going to get rid of this then i have the milani bronzer i'm going to keep this and then i have this master chrome highlighter in rose gold i had one in gold too by the way we'll come to that all right so first of all i'm just going to keep my how do i organize this i think i'm going to keep my bronzers and blushes over here so i'm just going to keep my translucent powder here too and highlighters are here now let's get to the second basket first of all i have this coty air spun loose face powder that i'm definitely keeping then i have my fit me powder in light medium again i'm definitely keeping this then the newly bought sugar set the tone tinted powder in choco chino choco sino and then i have this maybelline master chrome highlighter in gold and then i have this maybelline v-shape blush contour i don't know i just don't understand this is obviously not meant for me so i'm getting rid of this and then i have this la colors mineral pressed powder which i use as a bronzer and i love it now next i have this um, highlight and contour duo from nika so i'm keeping this too and there is another eyeshadow palette in here you guys so everything is mixed here you guys so this is the makeup revolution one million palette um i am keeping this because i love the shades in here i got this palette for free 
so obviously i'm going to keep this in my eyeshadow next i have this pack creme blush i love it and i'm just going to keep it then i have this milani baked blush obviously i love it then i have this miss claire shimmer brick I'm going to keep this too because you know it looks good I mean it is not chunky so I like it next I'm keeping my Miss Claire big blush I'm keeping this and then what is this I'm getting rid of this eyeshadow this is a mini eyeshadow from wet n wild now I also have a Maybelline color show blush very small one so I'm going to keep this too elf matte for matte palette I cannot get rid of this I mean I need this so I'm just going to keep this too so that's it for the highlighter and the setting powder and then the blush is in another basket so it's definitely time for lipsticks you guys get ready for a ride for a journey because it's going to take a lot of time first of all because I have two baskets of lipsticks and they are filled first of all I have the Nykaa Molten Matte lipsticks I'm going to find all of these lipsticks and I'm going to maybe keep it because i can use these as a blush or a color corrector so first of all i have this jeffree star um lipstick this is a mini one in the shade red rum i love the formula you guys next i have this revolution pro supreme matte lip pigment in bad wipes so hmm, i think i should put it on right now then i have these l18 crayons which i'm definitely getting rid of i've never used these maybe i'll keep just one shade i'm just keeping one shade which is hyper brown next i have this asmr lipstick that i reviewed i love this lipstick next i have this nika notorious red this i don't know what is this like which collection is this from i just don't know but it's a red lipstick but i don't think i need it anymore then i have these maybelline city heat bricks collection i think that was the name and i'm keeping these because these are beautiful warm shades um i have a lot of faces lipsticks i don't like all the shades so i want to get rid of them so let me just see what all i don't need okay so this is a beautiful shade i'm going to keep this chili pepper fuchsia wave um i know this is a beautiful shade but i don't need it i don't think i need it um then next i have purple tiara Ooh, I'm keeping this then I have peach candy which as far as I remember this washed me out so I'm not keeping this next I have oh, I like this. but I think I have this shade in the Maybelline city heats so I'm not keeping this this is maroon love now next is kiss ruby and forsake beauty so I like forsake beauty very much it's a nice nude so I'm keeping it and I'm getting rid of kiss ruby next I have these click me up things these are really good quality lipsticks so I'm just keeping them so next I have this um, Nykaa sweet angel lip gloss I'm keeping this too and then I have this Lakme 9 to 5 in Rosy Sunday. I'm keeping this too. Then I'm getting rid of this Stay Quirky Liquid Lipstick. This is a red one. I don't know it has separated and all. So I just, I, I don't trust the formula anymore. These are some Nykaa minis. Um, I don't think I use any of these minis. So next I have these L18 Silk Pop lipsticks and I don't need these because I generally do not wear silk lipsticks. Although the formula was great, it was very moisturizing and all, um, the staying powder was also good. So, but I don't like silk lipsticks. I mostly use matte lipsticks, so I'm getting rid of these. Then this is a Maybelline lipstick in Nude Nunan, so I'm just keeping this. Anything nude, I'm keeping it so yes, this also i'm keeping and i'm getting rid of this color bar this is again one of the first lipsticks that i got it smells really weird now i'm just getting rid of this um then i have again a faces wow i love this red i'm just keeping it then i have these nika mini i'm keeping these because i loved all the shades you guys so i'm just keeping these and then obviously I'm getting rid of this silk lipsticks. This 
again i'm keeping oh wow this is such a good shade where were you this is natural earth you guys and i'm keeping natural earth and then i have two crayons from the sugar matte as hell one is princess peach and second is la woods i'm keeping both of these and come on look create a boundary how am i supposed to know all right so it's time for the liquid lipsticks obviously keeping the huda um then i have these liquid lipsticks that i recently reviewed in fact it was my last video these are the blue heaven elegance matte frankly speaking i'm not going to keep all the shades um i'm just going to keep a few shades number one is this 07 i'm going to keep this and then number two is this 11 i'm going to keep this and then number three is this um 06 i'm going to keep this and then ultimately i am going to keep this shade in 12. i have all the nudes now and maybe i'll keep 05. so i'm keeping three four five shades and then i don't need the rest of the shades because there were so many reds there were so many pinks and i was just overwhelmed with all the reds and the pinks i mean probably i'm never going to use the reds and the pinks ever again <laughs> then i have this sugar suede secret matte lip color i'm keeping this too now nyx i'm keeping nyx and then i'm keeping the lip lingeries from nyx so first of all i'm just taking my bullet lipsticks and keeping them in one basket i separate my lipsticks like that i keep the liquid lipsticks in another one so again i have another faces this is in the shade flamboyant plum i love this shade i'm keeping this shade and then i have subtle mauve another shade that i loved i'm keeping this now next i have this maybelline um creamy matte in lively violet i love it i'm keeping it um and then i have another gloss glosses i just love i can't get rid of glosses then i have the revolution pro supreme matte lip pigment in elevation then again i have some sugar then i have this nika in uja sadly i have to get rid of this um then i have this maybelline superstay matting i'm keeping this both the shades i'm keeping both the shades now then i have the stay quirky as i said i'm getting rid of the stay quirky by the way can you see how similar the stay quirky and the nika looks like look at this i have the balm i feel that this is kind of drying for my lips although i'm keeping it to create like ombre lips because the shade is also kind of it washes me out so still i'm keeping it just to create ombre lips and then i'm keeping all these nika uh, matte to last minis because i love these i'm obviously getting rid of the sugar smudge me not you guys um the oil has completely separated from the lipstick so I'm just keeping it over here. I'm just keeping this NYX Intense Butter Gloss in Tres Leches. I don't know. Um, that's the shade by the way. And then I'm keeping this Milani Amore Matte in Sweetheart. This is the Lacme 9 to 5 in Mauvey Matter. I'm keeping this too. Then, oh my god you guys, this is such a magical lipstick. I just love it. This is the Ciate London Glitter Flip. I love playing with this lipstick. Like you apply it and then you press it and then the glitter comes out. I just love it. So next I have this Wet n Wild Cat Suit Lipstick in Missy and Fear. So I'm keeping this too. Such a beautiful red shade. And then I have some more Huda. Um, then I have this Nika Molten Matte again. And why do I need this shade? I will not use this as a blush and I'll not use this as a lipstick. So I'm getting rid of this. So this is the amount of lipstick that I decluttered. It's a lot. And I don't need this anymore. I don't use this anymore. Like both of the baskets were completely filled. And now it's like, it looks pretty good. So it's lash time. Um, I don't have a lot of lashes. I think I already threw the trash lashes somewhere. Like I need all of these. So yeah, I need all of this. So there is no trash in my lash section. So I think I'm going to keep all of this. I have some Kingdom of Lashes eyelashes. Then I have some Elsh, obviously, and then I have some Rene. I just have one Rene eyelash because it's so damn costly. And then I have pack obviously if you need some drugstore lashes 
you have to have back eyelashes they are so good so i bought this vanity box when i used to have a minimum amount of makeup like very little this was like my treasure i used to carry it everywhere this box is actually crooked it's so damn old i think it's almost three to four years old it comes out like this and then like this and yes product is already falling first i'm going to take out all my mascaras so the first thing that I'm keeping from this box are these. These are the Wet n Wild Cold Crayon Pencils. Now I have to tell you something, this one smells really bad. Ugh. So I'm just going to throw that away. I don't want to get any infection. I, I, I stopped using it since the day it started smelling bad. So I stopped using it and this one this one smells okay so I'm just going to keep this so this is a green corrector for the redness so I have this fit me concealer that I'm keeping then I have this makeup revolution concealer that I've exhausted then I have this um, wet n wild concealer I'm just so confused actually I exhausted one that's why I bought another but right now I just can't find out which one did I exhaust so I'm just keeping both of these like they always play me so next i am having this lash glue and i'm keeping this too now the other concealers i'm keeping the neutralizer concealer because it is very useful if you have to do colorful makeup on your eyes then i'm keeping these la girl concealers um these both of them are in pure beige um and i have product in both of them so i'm keeping these now i have got two eyeshadow primers this is the nyx proof it primer and then the wet n wild photo focus eyeshadow primer i'm keeping these primers too i also have a few um mascaras over here so this is a la colors mega lash drama lash i just don't know what but it has got a purple packaging mascara i think it has dried already so i'm just going to get rid of this and plus you should not use your mascara for more than six months so i have to keep that in mind too and this is completely dry this is the wet n wild um, renegade mascara then i have this lash paradise by l'oreal which i like and uh, i'm using this it's my second bottle so i'm definitely keeping this and then i have this total temptation mascara by maybelline this is also good so i'm keeping this so next i have two nika sticks too so um number one is in 04 i'm keeping this and then it. really i'm already frustrated by this cleaner so i'm keeping this and then in number seven i'm keeping this too that is it and in the end i am going to throw a clip of how much products we decluttered all right you guys so that's it for the video that was not all the makeup all right i still have a few more products but but i cannot include all of this in this video otherwise it's going to be very very long and i don't want it to be very long and very boring so that's it for the video if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit that notification bell and yes i'll see you in my next video bye